expensive places. I went to regular places. That time. place. Yeah. <laughs> oh my! I was like, give me, give me, give me, give me. I was like, I'm, I'm coming back. Yep. Yep. Here. Right, let's then, get a photo. Um, Careful! Yeah, don't knock your stuff in yeah, the water. Yeah, I, I don't need to. I don't need let's another see, chitch over here. In the background. Yeah, no, get over here. Get, and I'll, and yeah, I'll, I'll get you guys Sorry from here. No, no, listen. That's what we do over here at the boat. Anything or what? All right, well, show us. Show us. God, I don't believe you then. I don't believe you then. It's not real. It's not real. <laughs> All right, all right, all right. Next time we go to... All right, guys. Oh, that is so funny. Hold on, hold on. Wait, wait. Stay right there. That is Perfect. awesome. Perfect. Thank you. Well, so, all the so best he filming. He is 6'6". Six, six. Uh, he is 6'6". Six, six, six. Five and a half, two twenty-five. Yeah, I'm a happy, happily married woman, but you know, you're better. You're, hey, you're better looking than life. Uh, I'm still recording <laughs> right now. I'm sorry. I listen. I had nothing to do with that. I can't control that, Mrs. Montaner. Where, hey, yeah. you guys enjoy Take yourselves. Listen, you got you got Black Point Grill there. If you guys want to hang out, All right. yeah. You know, yeah. and you guys go into the Keys, right? Yes. Yes. What part of the Keys? We're gonna be in uh, Marathon. Oh, nice. Yeah. I did a video when I when I when the pandemic was happening. I took my family to Marathon, and we stayed at Isla Bella. Okay. okay. We went fishing out of that area. You got Robbie's, tarpon. Right. Yeah, no Robbie's. You want to do yeah. that? We've been there before. So yes. yes. So that whole trip along the way, yeah. perfect day. Tomorrow's gonna be a little wet, so take care of everything yeah. today. Yeah. Hey do. guys, right. thanks for stopping around the, the boat ramp. That's, <laughs> That's awesome, guys. Hey, again, what area were you guys from? Westminster, Maryland. Maryland. Okay, guys. Hey, take care, guys. That is so awesome. Guys, I got to give a big shout out to Daniel for covering. The, oh, boy, we got something back there. That's a problem. Oh, hey. Bro, hey. I saw you leaving today like at 6 in the morning. What? I saw you leaving like at 6 in the morning. It's that, it's that, wow. Hey, let that woman sleep a little bit, bro. It's not that serious. Yeah, guys, he came, when I came early in the morning, I was here at six in the morning. And um, he was here, coming out. So they, I, I, they did a little bit of fishing and then they probably hung out at the sandbar. And they're calling it a day. Guys, I really enjoy when you guys come visit me at the Chicho. And you know why? Because I want you guys to come and visit Florida and experience this amazing place. That is so cool, dude. Oi, I bet you if you throw that dog over here, it'll swim to me. I the bet you. Thing is, I don't want Franklin to come get it. Bro, listen. If he does, we'll have it on a camera. Yeah. I'll give you two of them. What is it, a Yorkie? I'll give you two Yorkies. <laughs> two for one. Nah, nah, listen. Fred, 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 that'll kind of, like, he'll floss with her. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, but, but there's another croc here close by. It's a female now. Yeah, yeah. Hey, welcome back to the boat ramp, dude. He even has a life vest. Yeah, there's extra level over there, guys. I shouldn't have said that. I was, I was being rude. Now, that was kind of rude, I think. I, um... Hey, how was the fishing? I go. Show something, bro. Oh, I love hogfish. That's my favorite fish to eat. Is there enough for me too or no? I'm, I'm gonna have to go to rod benders now. Damn it. Boy, did you guys uh, shoot it or? You, yeah, you speared it. All right guys, so you know, uh, hogfish are notorious for being easy to spear fish um, because they just like, they just like literally, they just hang out right next to you. Oh no, I hear Barcero music in the background, bro. Oh boy, I hope it doesn't ruin the shot. What's up with time flies? 
Time flies is actually hanging out a little too slow here. What's going on here? Oh boy. All right, all right, well, we got two shots over here. We got two for one. Uh, but I think we're gonna, what, what are we gonna, yeah, we're gonna go here. Uh, everybody's doing very good, guys, at the boat ramp. I, I'll, I'll be honest with you, like, I'm really um, proud to say that I sell more boats and teach people how to actually, I don't teach people how to drive their boat, I teach them what not to do which is just as good except for these people who have the music on so they're gonna be they're gonna be on the chicho now in a minute all right all right give give me a second watch this is gonna be good guys all right look let me tell you something whenever you have music coming and you're coming into the boat ramp it's a guarantee oh look look he's lowering the music he's lowering the music because he knows i'm i'm spot locking i'm right here wait for it all right wait for it wait 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 for it wait for it he knows he knows he knows he knows guys he knows right now wait for it oh boy oh boy so so here's the thing when you have music at the boat ramp guys it's an automatic l you're gonna you're gonna for sure get an l and i'm gonna i'm gonna target you for sure like before anything or anyone else you're gonna be like on the target list como están como están eso caballero todo bien como está eso por allá afuera está bueno estaba picado el mar o no Lleno de gente. Bueno, aquí quiere decir que la rampa va a estar en candela. Mira para eso para allá. Ok, mira. Si están haciendo todo lo bien, no hay problema entonces. They're saying that the, the police are actually checking and making sure that everybody's doing the right thing. So, he used kind of like a Cuban slang. Like, you know, they're, they're checking. And... Pero si, esto está, está busy ahora. Se está llenando bastante. We'll give him a pardon, guys. We'll give him a pardon because he shut it off. We, um, but if he puts it back on, then we'll spot lock again. Oh boy. This is what I really enjoy about this lens, guys. Look at this. I can get, like, they're close to me, like, I'm, and I can get their full boat. Oh man, what I need is that snook. Okay. So when I'm here, guys, I don't have, a, I don't have um, a polarizer lens right now. Okay, but here's, here's an example. You see, I'll be here. You see this right here? These are the rocks that I'm actually filming on. Let me just give you an idea. It's low tide right now. You see that right here? You see my tripod? Um, so with this lens, I can actually show you guys. And I switch it up a little bit, you know, based on what I want to show you guys, right? Now, I'm, I'm going to miss. I'm going to miss out on boat ramp one and two which kind of sucks but i'm getting everything here full so which is nice very nice see that this is this is beautiful these guys in this flat spot little maverick oh no it's a hughes hold on hold on So we already know that the uh, the rest of the Elliot Key and Boca Chita and all that stuff. All right, well, come on, they're, they're right, literally in the shot, dude. All right, well, whatever. I've noticed, I've noticed when when I'm actually on uh, the tripod, people are like, "Oh hell no, Alfred's there, bro. Turn off, turn off the music." When Daniel's here, it's like. Everything is awesome. Um, which, remember, Daniel's mic is kind of like a shotgun mic, so you're gonna see and hear everything perfect from a distance. I'm I'm focusing on me on my audio, so you guys can hear me perfect. All right, this little Hughes is acting a little I don't know. I'm a little surprised here. We're gonna have to open up a little bit. We're gonna get shot killed. We did. We got shot killed. Tree of death. You see it here? Oh boy, I think he put the music back on. Did he put the music back on? No, no. All right, hold on, hold on. We, we, we're back, we're back. All right, let's go. Let's see what we got over here. We do have um, officers helping 
people come in. Hey, I still don't believe you. What's going on over there? No, I, bro, I'm making the boat ramp better. Nice. All right. What are you looking at? I'm, I'm, I'm down. Let's go. We'll go, we'll go fishing on the way back. He's been on the market for a boat, guys. And it's funny because I see him. Oh boy, this guy almost crashed into the to piling over here. I see him at the gas station where I get my coffee in the morning. And you see him, he's, he's full-fledged American, but he's, he's addicted to the colada. That Cuban crack, guys, Cuban crack. It's, that Cuban coffee, it's basically, it's, it's hard to, to get rid of that habit. So I have to have my colada in the morning. And I would tell you, if you, if you wanna, if you, if the closest thing to cocaine over here in Miami without being doing anything illegal is, is the Cuban colada, guys. And they're at every window of every restaurant in Miami. And the window, we call it a ventanita, which means a window. Ventana, which is, ita, is like the, the nicer version, ventanita, so. Oh, oh look, this guy. Is, oh, the, let's see what's going on over here. He had the music on, guys, remember. We, um, we know this now. So they restriped the boat ramp which is amazing but in the process of restriping the boat ramp it appears i mean i'm not a rocket scientist but i think i'm pretty i'm i'm pretty close like like i would say like maybe a starling scientist but it appears like they lost some parking but they made it up with a brand new spill out in the very very end but the problem with that spill out it's so far guys it's so far oh boy what, what is this what's going on here um no they're, they're coming in by themselves they're not they're not they're not bringing nobody in the problem with the spill out is it's so far by the time you get over there you're gonna lose about six pounds of water uh, because it's far but it does help because for instance like summers like this now when summer starts hitting and it already feels like summer, guys. It's like 90 degrees and it's, it's bad. They, um, they're gonna walk a long ways, you know? A lot of you guys have been asking, do, what, what do people pay to, to, to park here? We use an app, I think it's called Pay By Phone. And um, you put the actual number of the area where, where you're at, and it works in most areas in Miami. And this boat ramp is about, I think, 18 bucks. $18. All right, this little sea fox. He's on the other side, guys. We're gonna, we're gonna wait to see what happens over here. Look, and I have somebody here close to me in the mangroves. We just got, listen, we got a lot of supply today. I love supply. Supply! So yeah, it's about 18 bucks. Um, that's to, to park your trailer and leave it at the boat ramp. Now, if the boat ramp is full, you can't even launch and leave. They don't let you. They're like, hey, look, it's closed and that's it. And that's gonna happen a lot in the summer. So like I said, they, they restriped, so Get off my lawn! It's a nice size, Intrepid, coming out of here. Oh, okay, we got a shot, we got a shot, we got a shot. Finally, we got a shot, we got a shot. Wait for it, he had the music on. Oh no, are you serious? This Maverick is gonna do this to us right now? Relax, Maverick. Wait. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. Oh look, these people who had passed earlier. Oh man, I'm gonna get shot killed on the sea fox. That's what I really want. Stop, go away, go away, guy. Oh my goodness, bro. Why, bro? You're gonna... Oh, look, look back there, look back there. 
look, look, look. Oh my goodness, look at that. Look at that. Oh my goodness, what a scene, guy. What is that? Que eso, caballero? What is that? Do you guys see that? Oh man, we're getting shot killed by these Florida numbers. Look at that, look at that, look at that. Look, look, there's an officer saying, you guys have to leave. Oh boy, I hear some people arguing over there. Oh man, and do you guys see in the backdrop? The sea fox is right there. Oh bro, you're getting, you're gonna get, you're gonna get bad energy, dude, right here. All right, this sea fox, let me see, look, look, guys. This is where we're at, this is where we wanna be. But this guy, and this, and this little boat, this little osprey is gonna get it. Only because he's shot killing like hardcore. Whoa. Oh my god, it's gonna get good now. And bro, this guy, oh man, this guy, forget about it, dude. It's you. I'm gonna I'm gonna target you now. Hold on, hold on. Maybe he gets out of the way. Alright. No, no, that's it. The, the, the energy has been passed, guys. Now the osprey is the one who's gonna make the scene. That's it, what happens? I already I already touched the water. This guy's gonna get it. We have a whole line of people back here. I'm still, I'm still actually charging my unit. Oh boy, hold on, hold on. These are the people that were in the chicho over here. This guy now, his girlfriend's in the way, bro. Oh my goodness, why, bro? Why, why, bro, why? Oh boy, is this guy gonna go ahead and crash into this guy? He might, look at this. Oh boy. Wait for it. Oh boy. All right, these are the guys that were doing the chicho earlier. Dude, this is gonna be an awesome clip later. Wait for it. Wait for it. Look, they look so confused. Lo que está pasando en esta rampa, caballero. Wait for it. All right, we're back over here. Remember, we transferred it because these guys were shot killing. You shot kill guys at the boat ramp, there's no sympathy. I normally give pardons, right? You know, normally you wait for the end of your turn, but nah, not over here at the boat ramp. You, you get out of the way, you're like, sir, ma'am, I'm gonna get out of the way. Wait for it. Oh boy. But. He's, oh, he's going nice and slow. Oh boy, don't tell me this other Yamaha is going to go ahead and shot kill now again. Are we going to do like a three transfer here or what? Oh boy. Uh, I think he's going to reverse whiskey. Oh my goodness, we're getting double. Guys, this is like, this, this is, what is this? What is this? We're, get, we're getting trifected at the corner, bro. Why? What have I done to people? Welcome back to the boat ramp. I can't even work anymore, guys. I can't work anymore. I can't work anymore. She's eating a nice uh, watermelon. You guys know when I go out with Fishman Joe, we um, we give one of his local captains over there coming out of Hallover um, some watermelon. Watermelon Thursdays is what uh, Fishman Joe calls it. Oh my goodness, who really, who's coming out with that music, bro? Are you serious? Welcome to the boat ramp. Say it or no? Yes, Te estoy hablando en español. Mira que bueno, como están? Do you speak English? Yo hablo tres idiomas. Spanish, English, and a lot of chit. I'll speak French too. Go. Molto bene. Ah, italiano. Hey. I, I, 
No, no, listen. I thought when I went to high school, I thought the girls were going to be prettier in Italian class than in French class. So I took Italian. I don't know what you just said, but listen, um, I hope you didn't insult me or my family. All right, guys. Hey, comment below if you know what she just said. My wife is going to be like, why, bro? Why? All right, all right. Let's see what happens over here. We got a Trump flag, my friends. All the Biden supporters, comment below. Come on, guys. I know you're there. I know you guys watch. Everybody watches. We don't have favorites here at the boat ramp. You guys, you guys lost Don, lost Don Lemon. We, we, we lost uh, uh, Tucker Carlson, right? Wait for it. Oh man, the boat ramp is the boat ramp, guys. It's been a nice long video. I think I think it's been. Uh, it gives uh, a good feel of what's really happening at the boat ramp, right? Oh man, it is hotter than hell. Ok, el capitán va a hacer un buen trabajo do, uh, parqueando el bote. Ok, ¿de dónde, todo, de dónde son todos ustedes? Todos son cubanas. Ok, ¿de qué parte? Ok, pero ¿de qué parte? Pero ¿qué parte, mujer? Contra maestra, ¿de dónde está eso? El Oriente. Oh, yo no más que ser los arceros, sorry. Ustedes son los guajiros. O ustedes son los guajiros de Cuba. Ahí, Oriente. Como dicen los nahue, los nahue. Eh, hey, nahue. Ya. Yeah. Ya, yeah, ya, yeah, ok. Oriente. Sí, ustedes son fuertes allá. Ustedes son los campesinos. Sí, sí, vamos, vamos. bueno, de, depende si le, le pregunta a los que son de Cuba, de, de La Habana. <laughs> Guys. So they live in the country in Cuba, in a place called Oriente. And I've never been to Cuba, guys. Not because I don't want to go, but I just want to, I don't want to end up on the news, right? So, you know, Chicho Superstar held, <laughs> no, 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 um, yeah, yeah, listen, I'm good. I'm good, my friends, I'm good. Superstar, nothing, what are you talking about, Superstar, bro? Oh, boy. Oh, no, what happened here? Oh, boy. Oh man. Oh boy. All right, well they're they're back. Let's see what's up with Los Oriente. Lo Guajiro, oh boy. Somebody over here going to have an accident or what? I don't know. Come below. All right, all right, hold on, hold on, hold on. We don't have the long lens, guys. Relax. We got to work with what we got. And then we have... Oh, they got it. They got it. Do they? A little... Oh, man. We got shot killed by this world cat. Isn't it crazy how the little kids know that you're going to be on YouTube? All right, let's see, let's see, let's see. I think my grandson just re recently realized that I'm a YouTuber because he saw my plaque and I think because he saw my 100,000 subscriber plaque now he's a little bit more oh boy hold on now he's a little bit more cautious about my cameras like I'll come home from a long day's work and I'll just leave my camera there on the couch or something like that my Mrs. Montana gets she, she gets upset obviously come on you know She's trying to upkeep the house, and I come from a long day of work, hard, hot, 
and I just put my my camera everywhere. I put it there, where, wherever it's gonna fit. I just like, ah, what a day. These guys are having a problem coming in. But at some point they gotta bring it in. They're almost there. Oh man. I guess not. I guess he didn't he didn't make it. And we're gonna get shot killed here, dude. Oh my goodness, why bro? That's it, we're gonna get shot killed. Alfred, you gotta do me a big favor. What's up? Before we go to sleep. Hello, Holly. Holly! In Greenwich, Connecticut. Greenwich, Connecticut. I never thought I'd be on the chick show. Stop doing cocaine, Holly! No, no, no. No, 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 don't put that on the don't put that. She's gonna get offended. Just, just say I love you, Holly. I love you, Holly. But stop doing cocaine on Wednesdays. <laughs> I love you, Albert. Thank you, thank you guys. You, you how'd you guys? You guys had a good time over there? You guys catch anything? Yeah, every night you put us to sleep. That's awesome. I love it. Love it. <laughs> That's so funny. I put people to sleep. <laughs> no, look. Her co-workers at, at the water cooler are going to say, Holly, what are you doing with that cocaine habit? You got to kill that. <laughs> good thing she doesn't work here. Oh, she's retired. Good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> good job, by the way. Man. Take care, man. Love you. <laughs> That's so funny. Holly. I was just playing. It was a joke. I was being sarcastic. I mean, I wasn't going to tell about your heroin habit. Seriously? You think I'm going to go... LuxuryRibTenders.com What was that? Luxury Rib R-I-B Tenders. Yeah. Yeah, you'll see. I got a lot of new ones coming out, but they're selling out. Thank you, man. I appreciate that. They're really nice. You're going to enjoy them. I got a large selection. All right. Guys, yes, I do have a lot of hats. Um, LuxuryRibTenders.com. I have all my hats. Now, well, here's what happens, guys, so you know. I made some big orders for summer because the supplier that I have works with schools and they don't do anything for summer. And you guys are already kind of wiping me out before summer's even here. And I'm not gonna have a supplier that I'm comfortable with that's gonna fulfill my orders. So I'm just gonna wait until the holidays. I know it sucks, but I wanna make sure you guys get really good quality and that's why I'm willing to wait for my supplier to catch up when it comes to production, right? But I do have plenty. So just check out the site and eventually, if you guys get them, you'll enjoy them. Oh boy. Man, this guy is smoking hardcore, dude. And this guy's leaving fast as hell, too. Um, yes, like, for instance, some of the shirts, just so you guys know, I'm making some Chitro shirts, long sleeve for summer because we got to protect ourselves from the sun. Um, patch on the front, Chitro, and big Chitro logo in the back. And the same shirt I'm also making with the Fred the Cock logo that says Black Point, patch in the front, big patch in the back. But they're limited. I, I mean, they're like, hey, listen, I can get them for in August, September. I'm like, dude, summer's over by, by the time. You can't do that to me. So they're working on that as, as this video is uh, happening. So just, just stay tuned to, to the site, right? But listen, guys, it does help because here's the thing. When YouTube is slow because, you know, some people there say it's a recession and ads, revenue and all that crazy stuff. That's how we get paid. But that offsets some of that slowness on YouTube. You guys buy stuff. It helps me. I'm happy because you guys get to wear my, my, my merchandise and, you know, helps me promote the, the, the channel. And it's, it's a great thing. For me, it's a win-win. I love seeing people at the boat ramp with, um, with Chicho merch. Oh man, this guy's wearing some, this guy just put some music real quick and let me see if I can out talk him. But this, this guy's also coming in real quick. Oh man, I'm running out of battery too, guys. I think I might have to go to the flag soon. Hey, your name Antonio? My son. Oh man, I was going to ask you, what's the name behind and it's your son? 
Six and a half months? What happens if you have another son? He's gonna hate Antonio. Ah, look at him. You're gonna get the bigger boat for the other son? Hey, you're gonna treat the last one the mud the best. <laughs> it's the middle child that gets no love, my friends. Oh yes, that middle child gets no love. But the last one, it's like, ah, whatever, bro. You wanna go out all night, baby? <laughs> go to the club, dance at the bar, just you know, make sure it's not on socials. It's okay, baby. Have fun. Do you want an extra five hundred dollars while you're out there doing nothing? Oh my goodness. The first kid you're like, oh, let's get the nicest swing set. Let's get the nicest crib and it's gotta be this and that. The, by the third or the fourth one, you're like, yo, call your sisters and see who, who has something that we can hand down. And you know, it's like, it's like, we ain't got time for none of that. Ooh. All right, let's see, let's see what Antonio does. This is for the future kid. Wait for it. I'm surprised. I'm really surprised nobody has come in with like some nasty music. It's uh, it's starting to feel good at the boat ramp, guys. Civility is happening. I'm gonna have to open up a little bit. I'm not gonna get this shot. Damn it. Antonio, oh boy. Antonio's boat did good. He did a good job. Let's see what this little aqua sport does. Oh no, no, not again, dude. Um, so. As I'm filming this, I'm gonna go to the Bahamas and I rented a little aqua sport. I'm sorry, a little whaler. I think it's like a 15 or a 17 foot whaler. Wait for it. Hey, what hat is that? Wait, you got an 11 hat on? Dude, wait a second, wait, wait. I wanna know the story about how you got that hat. What? Did you have to go in person? Como tu cogiste esa gorra? Oh, tu fuiste a 11. Ah, y con quién fuiste usted? Tu fuiste solo, con quién tu fuiste? Who'd you go with? With her, the girl in the red? Oh, your dad's watching. <laughs> 11, guys. It's probably... No, no, it is. It's adult entertainment, to say the least, in Miami. It's right next to Space, which is a nightclub. But, oh boy, look, what is, what is this shit going on over here? Did they lose the boat over there? I think they did. There's something going on over there. Somebody is in the water, too. And I'm telling you guys, I wouldn't be surprised if Fred shows up. But yes, going back to 11, 11 is right next to um, space and it's adult entertainment. Like, let's just say, yeah, just 11. And it's, it's crazy because all that area, it actually um, became popular because city of Miami Beach closed down a lot of the after hour clubs on the beach. And then the promoters and all that said, oh, we'll go one bridge over, we'll get into Miami. And uh, they opened up a place called Space. And then 11 became Gold Rush. Oh boy, hold on. Which was another adult uh, place. And then eventually sold to 11. And 11 has been there for a long, long time. And it's, it's extremely, I've never been in there. I haven't, I'll be honest with you. But I've heard stories. So. Don't look, you need a beer, bud. Well, what are you waiting for? That's it. <laughs> 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 
because they know, guys, they know how hot it is. Oh boy, the, the Rabalo is going to whisk it throughout over here. 11 is going to hit the dock at 12. Oh, nice little jump over there at the boat ramp. But hold on, he's not back. You can't, you can't. You can't ask for the W if you haven't earned it. Oh man, this contender is going to shock you. So yes, guys, let me tell you the evolution of what happened. There was a place back in the days called The Mix. It was The Mix. It was on Washington Avenue. And a lot of young people were just stuck doing and DMA all day, which they called rolling. And then rolling became something that they would say, you're a pookie head. And literally the pookie head brand came out. And it was basically a lot of people on MDMA in Washington Avenue. Miami Beach at the time said, ha, we're not having none of that stuff over here. We're going to go ahead and restrict the time the, the place is closed. And I think they restricted like two or three in the morning. And the mix actually opened up at three in the morning or two in the morning, which basically the people who were in the nightclub industry wanted to hang out after they were bartending and doing all their stuff. And they wanted a party, so they went to the mix. Now there, I did go out a couple of times, and it was it was wild. Thankfully, I never get caught, caught up in any of that stuff, and that's why I don't have holes in my brain. And I could speak to you guys normally, but there's still people that are a little messed up. I mean, they argue, they'll say, I'm not messed up, and I'm, I'm like, yeah you, yeah, you are. So, that's the story of the mix, guys, and the boat ramp in Miami. Oh, boy. A lot of people are saying, yeah, but you forgot about Warsaw or 609. Let's just say that the rules have changed a lot in Miami. It's like, oh, well, you're 16? No, you're too old. You got to be 14 to go into this foam party at Amnesia. Oh, no. The world has definitely changed, guys. Hey, well, listen up. I ain't got no more battery, and I ain't got time for you. I have a mother making a scene as always. Hey, you better like these videos and stop complaining about my no comments.